So look, there's really one core concept that really just transformed my agency, transformed my income, and really just changed my life. And when I applied this concept, I went from making three, four, five K with my agency to surpassing that 25 K mark a month. And over the past few months, I've really been thinking deeply about this concept. And to explain the concept, I came up with a graph. And that is what I want to share with you guys today. I truly believe this graph will change your life just like it changed mine, will transform your income. And by applying this graph, you'll be on a much better trajectory to becoming successful with social media marketing agency. And so my friends, I really hope you guys are ready for this video because by the end of this video, you're gonna have strategies and most importantly, a mindset that's really gonna make you incredibly successful with SMA. And most importantly, it's gonna save you a ton of time because at the end of the day, guys, what is more valuable than time? So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna hop my computer and walk you guys through this graph. So I'll see you in there. Now, first things first, before I start, little disclaimer, my handwriting is not the best on this app, right? Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to get it right. But regardless, the message is still the same, the content is still the same. Uh, so with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is, uh, I wanna do it by colors, right? Red is gonna be the typical, the typical, I'm just gonna put typical agency owner, okay? TAO, typical agency owner who watches a bunch of YouTube videos, uh, who sees people crushing it in the space, wants to get into the space, but they don't really have the right guidance or most importantly, the right mindset, right? So that's the typical agency owner. And this is the path that I took, right? And that I recommend you guys take when I applied this principle and, then th and this concept that really changed my life, right? So this is me. And uh, hopefully this will be a uh, future, future you, right? So, this is uh, the, the, the route most, uh, you know, the typical agency owner takes, right? Now, when they go out, they try to sell their service, right? They don't really have an irresistible offer. They don't really know what they're selling, right? Yet they go out and try to sell it, which to be fair, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just gonna make it much harder, right? But let's just assume that this person is really good at sales. For some reason, they have had some past sales experience, or maybe they've just worked really, really hard at that one scale, right? So let's just say that this a person is, is incredibly great at sales. And so right off the bat, they managed to sign a really big client. Let's just say a 4K client, okay? There's really no problem with signing a 4K client. I don't want you guys to take that away from this video, right? Do go ahead and sign 4K clients. Do go ahead and sign five, six, seven K clients, right? The problem comes with the retention rate of this client for these people, right? So they sign this client and then the client realizes that, hey, this person has literally zero experience. He can't get me results. He hasn't really put time into his systems inside his agency. It just, it really isn't professional, right? And to be fair, he just really sold me very well. And he sold me this, this dream, this expectation, which quite clearly he's not matching, right? And so what happens is that the retention rate is incredibly poor. Let's just say, you know, one, two months, right? For these clients um, that this person signs. So what happens is he goes back to zero, right? And then the whole story repeats, right? Maybe this time he signs a, a 5K client, right? And then boom. Right? And the main problem here is that for each of these clients, he doesn't get enough time with them to really know the ropes, to really understand what the client needs, what a client values, how to actually get results for clients, right? And so he doesn't really have enough time to really build himself up. And so the next time the whole story repeats because he hasn't learned from the previous client, right? And so again, signs a client, goes back to zero, right? And I see this time and time again, even from students that come to me and really just can't get results for clients for their life, right? And this story repeats and repeats and repeats. And so what I see happen with this type of agency owners that they hit this kind of roadblock and this glass ceiling at 5K, right? And it's very hard for them to transcend that, to really just break through and overcome that, that massive roadblock simply because they can't get results for clients and they don't have enough experience to be able to know what a client needs right? And what a client values, right? And so they might go for a whole year, right? Signing a few clients here and there, right? Securing a few big retainers, right? Number one, they don't feel fulfilled because they're getting paid good money, right? But they can't get results for clients. So the clients aren't happy and he or she does not feel very good. And number two is that they constantly have to live with this fear that the client is going to leave very soon and that they have to sign a new client to keep their agency going, to keep generating revenue, right? When I started out, I saw a lot of this and I did not want this. And I had read a ton of books. I had read a ton of very successful people that said, hey, how about delaying gratification, right? You don't need to secure massive retainers if you can absolutely do that, right? But what I really, really recommend is that when you're starting out, I'm not saying for a whole year, I'm not saying for two years straight. I'm just saying when you're starting out, the first three, four, five, six months, you optimize for volume, right? And this goes against what you might've heard in the space, right? 
But it's what I truly believe what has worked for me tremendously well, what has worked for countless students of mine. Volume is key at the start. And volume is what makes you into a kick-ass agency owner who makes a ton of money. And doesn't j just make money one-off, right? Makes a ton of money predictably, right? And grows an agency that's actually respected and that truly fulfills you because you can get results for your clients. So if we optimize for volume, here's how the graph looks. This is me right here when I started out, right? Didn't really care about the, the, the big retainers. Didn't really care about posting screenshots on Facebook. Uh, to be honest, I just care about my craft. I just cared about getting better. And I just cared about six months, right, from now. I was thinking long-term, right? And so what I did is I was just bagging as many clients as I could. Not as, as many bags as I could. I was just getting as many clients through the door as I possibly could because I know that I was going to learn a ton from them, right? There's certain things that you just can't learn anywhere else but from experience and being in the trenches day in and day out, right? And that is what I wanted to do. I wanted to, to get beat up, to get bruised up by the market, right? To, to be able to get results for these clients, right? And so I did that and I started getting a lot of clients. And so let's just assume that these clients were lower in retainers. I'm talking 1,500, maybe sometimes 2,000, right? Uh, maybe sometimes even 1,000 with a performance-driven incentive, right? Which came out to be maybe 3K uh, at the end of the month, right? But the key was volume. And so what I saw is that they would increasingly, increasingly increase, right? Increasingly increase. Uh, and what happened was that then I saw this hockey stick growth. Hockey stick growth. And I'll explain why this happened in just a bit, right? But the, the main key, key here, and, and we could even put, uh, I mean, an inverse, uh, let's just say, I mean, let's just imagine that we have on the y-axis, we've got an inverse uh, volume of clients, right? So um, right here, yes, I'm not making a ton of money. I'm not making a ton of profit right here, but I'm working with a lot of clients, right? And so the reason why you see a hockey stick growth, if you go down this route, is because what happens is the type of momentum and the type of confidence that you can build when you have a lot of clients under your belt, when you feel like you're getting results for clients, clients start to refer you, right? your agency is known for getting incredible results, right? You get really cool testimonials. Most importantly, you battle tested concepts, right? Your team and yourself, you, you guys have really good chemistry because you've actually been in the trenches, right? It's not like a one, two month commitment, like this guy right here, right? But you're not able to get results for clients and so the client drops, make sense? And so you start building a ton of confidence and momentum and not only that, but in the six month, you start signing bigger clients. I'm talking clients that pay you 5K, maybe clients that with a performance driven incentive come out to 8K a month, right? The reason why this is, is because you just move differently, right? So that's the first, the, the, that's really the first reason. You move differently, you have confidence, you have momentum. And so when you jump on a call with a much bigger client, your results speak for themselves, not only that, but you've already been accustomed to sales because you've, you've been in the trenches, right? And so that's really the first reason. And the second reason is now you've got the actual results to back it up. And not only that, but once this big client signs on, then you can just leverage the shit out of this client to sign other big clients. Make sense? Now, the, the, the other reason why you also see a hockey stick growth is because these clients, you have to realize that they, they are staying on for a while, right? Right now with my agency, I've got a 14 month retention rate. And so you're building an agency client on top of client, which makes it very easy to just blow past that 10K mark, right? Because if you can keep a, even just a $2,000 retainer, right? For an average of seven, 10, 12 months, right? And you sign five of those in a year, you are already at 10K. And to sign five clients, to, to convince five people that they need your service, right? When you actually have incredible results and, and you have testimonials and you have the confidence and momentum that I'm talking about, it's, 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 it's not easy, right? But it's pretty simple, uh, I would say. Uh, I'm never going to preach that something is easy, right? Uh, it's pretty simple if you have the right guidance and you have that confidence momentum I'm talking about. So that is that. That is the hockey stick growth. I'm pretty sure I haven't missed uh, any uh, of the things that I wanted to, to talk to you guys about, but I really hope uh, this was of tremendous value and I really hope this shifted your mindset, right? Um, from trying to make as much money in the first one, two months, right? Again, if you can sign those 4K retainers, absolutely go for it, right? But keep this little word right here in mind, volume. Volume is what gives you experience. Volume is what gives you um, results, right? Volume is what gives you confidence in yourself and in your team, right? Volume is what gives you the synergy and the chemistry with your team because you guys can actually use this as a little playground with the smaller clients to learn a ton, right? And to learn what works, what doesn't, what clients like, the, the way clients like to communicate, etc., etc. So guys, that is that for this video. It was definitely a 
a bit of a, a different one. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, drop a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It just helps a lot with the algorithm. Um, and so it really mean a, a lot to me. Also, leave down below. Did you enjoy this type of videos? Do you want me to make this sort of mindset uh, less, you know, less uh, practical, more theory videos that can really help you in your journey from my experience and, and my and lessons in the space. If you do, drop it down in the comments. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel. There's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency. We're talking things like mindset, things like theory, right? We're talking e-commerce, sales, outreach, et cetera, et cetera, and how to get incredible results for clients as we've seen today. Um, and the final thing is, if you haven't joined the free private mentorship community, the client closers, we are building an incredible family of already 1,200 people. So it's honestly insane. And I'm going live there for free trainings, interviews, ask me anything, and a ton of more content that I'm not posting anywhere else. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Go ahead and apply. And if you're a good fit, we will let you in. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.